this is the prize that's going to be given to someone who buys the corporate citizen playbook or the YouTube course. I will let you know who wins this the 1st of July. Alrighty, so let's just talk about how you can get into the course. The corporate citizen playbook, power book, you can do a one and done or you can get on the payment plan. How to make a lot of money from a small YouTube channel. You can do a one and done and get on the payment plan. I'm about to explain to you why you want the corporate citizen playbook power book. Number one, you will get the YouTube course as well, and you will get any and everything else that I create in the year 2023. So if I write a book, I create any more courses, which I guarantee you there's more coming, you will get all of that. And also the way that this is set up, the corporate citizen playbook power book it's set up to teach you how to build a holding company, how to have operating companies, how to set up your corporate banking, how to set up your first operating company, and how to start getting on the path of business credit. Now, one of the things is, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you, are you gonna take these courses and next month you're gonna be making 20, $30,000 per month? No, it's not gonna happen. But let's go a little further ahead and let's say, this time next year, you get in, you're going to learn so much that you could be one of the people making twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 per month. I will have people who will do that. And then some people, it'll take a little longer. But I want you to start thinking in the greater scheme of your life. I want you to start thinking about not just today, but tomorrow and the year after and the year after and the year after. Because I have a very important video that's coming up after this commercial that's going to be getting into the deepness of building businesses, making money, and you want to be part of it. So once again, the YouTube channel, you can do the one payment or you can do the payment plan, the corporate citizen uh, playbook power book. You could do the one and done and the payment plan. And this is how you can get in and the access to these courses will be in the description box and in the first comment. And once again, you need to go ahead and get in because the sooner that you start is the sooner that you'll start realizing your dreams and ambitions. So that's all I got for you. So let's roll into this next wonderful video. What's going on guys. Today is another day of change right here. I have the records for setting up my new holding company checking account. And this is something else that's really new. I am going to be putting a phone number on the YouTube channel. You should see it in the commercial. It should be scrolling across the bottom here. And this number is going to be for people who have questions about the training and you can call. There's a really professional message left on the voicemail and you can ask your question about the training. And I'm also, going to make a very big assumption that we're all adults. I'm an adult, you're an adult, and no one is going to call me up and ask for business advice without remuneration because we're all adults here and we know how that goes. So if you want to ask a question about anything that's going on at IEatFire.com, and there's a new training that I should bring up. Um, there's a group feature because, uh, for the members in school, I'm getting rid of that group. Uh, I can create another group at my gettingrich.com. So give me a little time to do that, but I'm getting rid of the school group. And this group is going to be a monthly membership for people who want to ask questions. Cause I get a lot of people always sliding in the comments. It's like, Hey, I have this company. I have this company. I have this company. And I'm just, you know, I never answer those questions because once again, we're all adults here. We're all adults here. So I'm creating a community. It's going to be a paid community where we're going to have a meeting probably once a week and you can ask your questions and we're going to, it's going to be some hot topics. And one of the things I'm thinking about doing, I haven't made up a decision, but I'll, I'll make that decision before tomorrow. 
whether to give everyone access, because here's the thing, and this is something when you become a business owner, you're going to become really, really key to is your time. I don't want to go ahead and like, Hey, you know, you signed up for and paid a one-time fee. Yes. The fee was expensive. And then you get unlimited access to me. Uh, that's, that's one of the things that I have learned from years and years of personal experience to avoid. This is one of the reasons the consults were so expensive. And now this question, and I'm going to put it together because give me a little time, but you can go ahead and sign up and I'm going to give you a limited number of questions. Cause the thing is, if I just go ahead and put up a group and say, you can ask me a question, I'll have people asking 30, 40, 50 questions. So that's not going to happen, but let's talk about the, the change up in the holding company and the checking. And this is something you guys have got to understand. Once you create your first holding company, everything else gets ridiculously easy. I mean, it gets crazy easy. The things that you can do, the things that you can set up, it gets like, I mean, like this, like, look, go ahead and explain to you why I created a new holding company and why I've got new checks and what I'm getting ready to do. Since I have created a holding company and actually ran a business, made money, filed taxes, developed business credit. One of the biggest issues that I had was my NAC codes. And this, you know, for credit cards never was an issue. But for business lines of credit, the ones I had to show my tax returns for, it always came up. It always came up. And my first holding company was set up for real estate. And that's what the NSA codes. And it's like, and they were like, but you don't do real estate. And that's just been, and I've been able to talk my way around it. And I've been able to show, but the new holding company is set up where it is a holding company to manage other holding companies. So essentially it's going to be a very accurate portrayal of what it does and the things that it facilitates. And what I'm going to do, and this, this is really easy. Once you understand the holding company game, I'm just going to sell my active companies to my holding, my new holding company. I'm going to do that probably next week, put in the uh, paperwork for that. And this holding company is the company that I'm going to get paid for, which means that I am going to eliminate my S corp affiliation with the previous holding company and put the S corp affiliation on the new holding company. And this is one of the things, uh, am I going to destroy the old holding company? No, I'm not. I'm just going to have it out there just kind of floating, floating because that holding company has a lot of business credit. Let's talk about business credit. One of the things that I can do with my favorite credit card, business credit card issuer, American Express, is I can go ahead after I get my bank statements and this month I'm going to put money in there. There, there's a little trick that you can do to facilitate that. Cause once again, I know the rules, I know what they're looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my, let's see, June, July, August. So September, I will be able to get business credit for this holding company. There are some companies I can go out and get business credit for right now but I want to go ahead and do the right things and have money run through there. Just so th this is going to be really, really easy for me because here, here's the power. Once you set up the holding company structure correctly, the first time, like when I started the car rental business, I had to create a new LLC. I had to rent an office. I got business checking. And I got a business checking business credit card. 
the longest part of that was sitting in the bank setting that up. Like today, this took about an hour to set up this paperwork. And yeah, making sure there's no notes on that. And literally, and also, I got a new corporate phone. Well, this, this phone isn't new. This phone has been sitting on my desk because I just didn't feel like dealing with the hassle of selling it. And this is the new corporate phone. And I went to AT&T and I showed them my corporate paperwork. And incidentally, they never asked me for my social security number. They did ask for a thousand dollar deposit because this is a brand new corporate account. And I just pulled out my credit card and gave them to him because uh, one of the things is there's a lot of things that's going to happen with this phone because I know a lot of people are going to call with questions and things about the training because I got a lot of people who will sign up and they got a question and they don't know how they ask that question because I have pretty much made it pretty difficult to, to get in touch with me for people outside of the nerd tribe, the nerd tribe knows how to get in touch with me. It's real easy. But for folks who are not really paying attention, they don't know how to get in touch with me. So one of the things that's going to happen, like this, this corporate phone, it's with AT&T. We're going to see how AT&T service is, but I'm getting ready to do a lot of things. If you've noticed, I've changed the name of the channel again. I eat fire. That's the name of the channel. I'm getting ready to do some more things that are going to be more business-like. We're going to start having some more business conversations. And one of the things that we're going to do is get into, like, this is one of the things, because once again, I am still fleshing out how I'm going to do this, um, this training, because my educational component that I put my educational courses on they have this new feature where you can create a group, a group. And I had to set that up today and I'm going to create another group for the people who are at get rich, get rich in business. I'm going to create another one because essentially, but this group is going to be pretty much business talk. It's going to be pretty much, this is what I'm doing with business. I don't want a group of people, everyone raising their hand, asking me a million questions without doing anything see that that's the key and that, that that's that's one of the biggest issues and that's one of the reasons it's so hard to get in contact with me is i know from a personal experience that if i was just to make it real easy to contact me real easy to ask me a bunch of questions that's what will be happening and people you know and once again we're all adults you know how it goes I'm an adult, you're an adult. If you're looking for mentoring, some advice, business training, you know how to make that happen. And I'm getting ready to reformat a lot of stuff. I'm getting ready to change a lot of things. I'm getting ready to do a lot of things because this was super easy to set this up. This was crazy easy to set this up and i got my uh, checking accounts i got my checks i got my debit card coming and one of the things that we will get into because i i got a video let me see what is this video is doing because i haven't even looked at it i just put it up but i got a video on my other channel talking about how people are manipulating folks who do not understand um, business credit. They just simply do not understand. Uh, I can't find that account on that phone because I'm not logged in. And man, when you go ahead and set up a YouTube business and online business, oh man, also, I need to cancel my ADP account for the old company. And then I need to renew to create a new one. And I'll probably do that next month. Probably. Yeah, I'll probably do that next month because I'll start paying myself 
out of this company next month because essentially uh, I figured out a lot, a lot of stuff. There, there's a whole bunch of things that are getting ready to change. There's a bunch of things from me on the business side because uh, I have been looking like, I'll, I'll tell you a story. I almost broke my lease to move into this place and it got crazy because, you know, I'm not going to move into some regular abode. I'm just not. <laughs> it's just... Just call me that dude. I'm just not. So it's going to be someplace uh, nice. And one of the things that I have seen is the stuff that is really nice. It's like it's on a fire sale. The stuff is moving really, really quick. So the next time I'll be more set up before this because I was just like, because, you know, you ever engaged in something and you just got this really bad feeling. It's just bad feeling. And that's what I got because this this was a lot of money. It, it was several, it was $3 million. And I was just sitting there like, I could get trapped up in this thing. Cause if you don't know, condos and high rises do not appreciate like standalone houses and townhouses. They just don't. And I, I was looking at a situation where I would be paying more for this townhouse than I can potentially get out. Like if I stayed in the town, if I stayed in the, the high rise condo for, maybe 20, 25 years, I might be able to get out of it what I put into it, maybe. So that's one of the reasons I backed out. So we're gonna get into a lot of business training. We're gonna get into a lot of stuff because you guys have got to understand the power of corporate setups and structures. Because like I already know, like for this company, I'm not going to get like, I'm not going to be able to get a substantial line of credit. I can get 25,000 to maybe 50,000. Uh, there's a bank that I know because th this is the big issue that I have. I don't have bad credit. I have money. I have tax forms. I just had way too many inquiries on my credit report and there's a bank that I'm going to go back to probably December, probably December, or I may go um, after December because uh, the banker, he's real cool. Uh, he's a car guy. He likes my car. We, we talk, so I'm gonna be able to talk to him. But this, this, this company, this brand new holding company, I'm gonna get three six figure lines of credit next year. I was already on my mark. Uh, the lady was, she's like, are you going to apply for a credit card? And I said, no, because like I haven't applied for any credit. Capital one was the last credit card that I applied for. That was the beginning of the year. And I, I, I was like, after that, I'm like, I'm not applying for anything And next month is a huge month because next July, July is when I got the American Express credit cards. I got one, two, I got three, July to about. So December, I'm gonna look at my credit report and see, you know, cause like I said, fortunately, I'm not in a position where I need credit. And this is the best time to get credit when you don't need credit, because I don't have a lot of foolish, outstanding bills and all this other stuff. So one of the things we're gonna get into, and in there I'm gonna put the credit hack in the corporate citizen playbook because this is something that I am doing, and I'm gonna explain because once again, knowing the rules, knowing how these banks operate is key. It is key for you to be able to get what you want out of these banks. I've been through the process where I had to provide tax returns. The Internal Revenue Service is kind of funny because the girl made an error on the 405-409-C and the Internal Revenue Service, we have nothing for you. They denied that. So the bank has to and also because I have an S-Corp, and let me explain to you what happens with an S-Corp. 
you do what's called an informational return, listing all of your holding, your, your holding companies, your operating companies, the percentages that you own, and that's your informational return. And then at the end of the day, I file a 1040, just like you, because I'm, I'm filing as a holding company and the taxes pass through to me. So I learned a whole bunch about that. I learned a whole bunch about that. And this is something else too. A lot of banks are not familiar with small people like me. Cause you know, when I was in here, she's like, you know, are you going to talk to me? If you have a um, million dollars or less, or are you going to talk to John? I said, and originally I'll be talking to you. And then sometime next year, I'll move over to John. And she said, okay. And this holding company game for small time operators is like ridiculously golden. It's just like, cause I'm just sitting here and I'm mapping out in my mind, my moves several months before I make my moves. Cause I already know what I'm gonna do with this. Like, you know, American express. Let me, let me go ahead and tell you what I'm gonna do with American express. Cause I know how American express works. And because I'm a high spender, I've spent 150,000 with American express this year. I spent 165,000 last year. So I can get pretty much whatever I want out of American express. And what I'm going to do, and this, this is going to be part of the credit hack because I already know how American express works. I'm going to be able to get new credit cards for this new holding company. And I'm going to be having, I'm going to be walking around with hundred thousand dollar limits on the credit cards, on credit cards. Now, once again, if you know American express, you have to have the spend. Let me go ahead and be hundred percent with this. So me spending $150,000 with American express, it's just June. That's just half the year. And also, you know, I've been thinking about the American express black card. And if I ever get in the position where I can get it, I'm probably not going to accept it because the platinum card does virtually all the stuff except for a few additional things. And I'm probably just not going to get uh, uh, the American, Ex even if I get to the point, because this year we'll probably spend maybe 300,000. And I've been watching the boards and typically, you know, and that's now business, they have a higher requirement of spend, but I'm pretty happy with my relationship with American express. Uh, I'm thrilled with my relationship with American express because when I make the transition from disruptive asset, cause there's some stuff I'm going to leave open because it's just going to make more sense until I can go ahead and graduate to higher credit limits with the new company. And that's going to take me filing taxes. I got to file taxes and yeah, the internal revenue service is uh, quite interesting these days, quite interesting, but let me go ahead and just tell you guys, you, you got to learn the holding company game because these banks, I've had to explain so much stuff to them because on larger levels, because once again, let's go ahead and talk about banks. The people in the banks are stacked up. I would have to, if I wanted to get like, let's say my company was doing 10 million a year and I wanted to get, I could get, pretty much a $2 million line of credit with an earning rates of 10 million a year. I can get that. And I would literally be in touch with someone else other than cause the lady who set up my stuff today, she's banker one, John is banker two. I would be dealing with banker three. There's someone in the organization that deals with certain uh, credit lines and I wouldn't be dealing with banker one or two. And knowing how these banks work is paramount to you getting money out of them. Um, other than 
Well, not Bank of America, and I got turned down because I had too many credit, too many inquiries. But other than Bank of America, I've not been turned down for nothing. And Bank of America was my canary in the mind. It was like, you have applied for too much credit. You need to stop. And what did I do? I just stopped. And I'm going to wait. Maybe, because once I go ahead and do the things that I needed to do, from a banking situation, I can get more American Express credit cards. And this is something else. I've been watching American Express stops average spenders. And I'm not trying to brag or boast, but I'm just saying at one point I had nine American Express credit cards. I had three charge cards and I had six credit cards. At the moment I have, I'm down to seven. But I know that if I wanted to get two more credit cards and I could get them, I can get them. But once again, you got to be really careful with American Express because I don't check my um, what is this? What can I possibly that little tool in there? Like how much what's your spend? I don't check that thing. I don't even look at it. I know because I have an American Express advisor that told me that my credit limit on both my platinum and my gold card was 350,000. So I, I've like just swiped that bad boy and gone about my business. But once again, with American Express, you must make sure that you have the right spending and that you pay them. Like I, I never wait until my statement day to pay them. It's like when I just pick a, a day in the month, I'm like, okay. And I just pay all my credit cards. And I use my gold card for food. I use, um, I've used one platinum sky miles. I've used that up, got my max benefit. Now I'm on the purple. I'm gonna work on that benefit. So from a spending perspective, and this is the thing, cause there's some stuff going around on YouTube that American Express is shutting down accounts and putting people in pop-up jail. Uh, these people just don't spend enough. I mean, American Express is like in business to make money. They're not in business to, give you this credit card with this massive reward bonus and you use the credit card to get the reward bonus. Then you put the credit card in your sock jar and the next year you cancel it because you out They're They're not, once again, they're, they're not in, they're not in business to make your life fantastic, you know? So there's a lot of stuff and that's something else I got to do because I, I really need to work on that tomorrow. I need to work on that tomorrow. I need to sit down, look at my goals and stuff. Cause like I said, if I sound a little discombobulated, uh, it is because like, let, let me just tell you, once you get this down, one, Ooh, Ooh, once you get this down, once you start to establish, once you start to build, once you start to create, and understand business and this is something else too because like I said I got a lot of things that are happening a lot of things that are going down and I just need to say once you understand the holding company concept once you thoroughly understand the holding company concept it will transform you as an individual it will transform you business wise, it would transform you because I had a really interesting uh, conversation and like Chase, and let's talk about Chase. Um, Chase, like I, I'll just say it. The majority of my money's in Truist. You want to know why? Truist has a savings account given 4%. That's where the most of my money is. And I, I have a sizable amount of money in Chase, but not like the money I have in Truist. And, you know, we were just talking about real estate and stuff. And, you know, and she just hit me up, you know, it's like, oh, he got, he got a little loot. And she hit me with the pitch and I said, I'll look into it. And I didn't not allow her to set up any appointments because, man, the rest of 2023 is going to be amazing. The rest of 2023 is going to be ground shaking because once again, for the folks who sign up for this training, this is going to be transformational. This is going to be um, very much really different.
because when we get into the YouTube training, there will be some ground breaking stuff in there that I don't really think that anyone else can train you. And I'm going to say this because there's not a lot of people. There's um, some people who are talking about doing what I'm doing, but they don't know all of the details because um, like I said, I I'm so excited and discombobulated because there are so many things that are going to happen this year. Because number one, um, I'm moving out to high rise. That's going to happen some point this year. Tried to move out early, break my lease. That didn't work out. And then we're going to get into a higher level of training. We're going to get into a higher level of understanding because, you know, I put out videos talking about for all the folks who have cash, who's like, Hey cash, I know I, I manage my money. What do you have me? Um, once again, I, I put a video on that. Uh, all I know how to do is start businesses. I do not know how to invest on a master level because essentially I, I will say that I do have a Schwab, I have a TD Ameritrade with money in them. And what I have seen since I've set them up would make me cry if I was dependent upon those funds to fund my lifestyle. It would make me cry because my SCHD went up and I'm just sitting there like, I would have had to have a million dollars in my Apple account that when Apple moved up to realize a $20,000 gain. I have made $20,000 in one hour. I didn't have to wait many, many months to make 20,000. And I'm just sitting there like, so I don't understand why. Well, I do understand the stock market marketing department has got people crunk that you can throw in some hustle dust on your investments and you'll be rich. It's simply not true. It's just simply not true. But this, this can make you a millionaire within three years. And let's talk about millionaires. What kind of millionaire do you want to be? Do you want to be an asset based millionaire where all your money's tied up in assets and you cannot afford to go out and pay cash for the car you want it? Because there's a lot of millionaires who on paper are verified millionaires based upon their assets, but they would have to sell something to go out and buy something. And I'm going to teach people how to be a cash flowing millionaire. I'm going to teach people how to buy Porsches, how to live in nice houses, how to create that cash flow. Because a lot of the stuff that I've seen on the internet is just for the financially illiterate because they know that you don't know better. And that's why they're lying to you. I did not misspeak there. They're straight up lying to you. And one of the things that you have got to understand, and we're about to go into a recession. I'm, I'm pretty sure about that. And I'm just sitting there like this because a recession means nothing but money to me. And one of the things that we're getting ready to do is get into a deeper level of training. And once again, if you notice, I'm rolling this out a certain way. I'm just doing stuff step by step. I'm not doing all this at one because y'all would really think I was crazy. But uh, yeah, change the channel name, open up the group. And we're going to get into some more stuff and we're going to get into more stuff as we roll down this month. Because um, I want to say thank you to the Nerd Tribe. Thank you to the Nerd Game. I really appreciate you guys. And thank you to 95% of the students who signed up and who bought the one-off deal. Because there, there's a reason that I'm doing this a certain way. There's a reason. Because, like, you know, um, there, there's so much that's going on. I'm so excited. And, like, today was kind of like, it was a get things done day. I had to go to the bank. I had to get my phone, I had to go pick up a prescription, and then I'm now I'm doing this stuff because this is the day that I now have to go to the gym. So I had to work on some stuff. And like I said, this right here is so powerful. This, this, this holding company game, and so many people will ask me certain questions in the comment section, right? And this is the thing. You need to get the whole picture because 
you know, you'll ask a question, what should I do in this situation? But you need to have the whole picture to fully understand that one segment of the, the picture, if that makes sense. You want to understand the whole picture. Because like I said, I got moves strategized for 2024 already. And you know, um, I will probably enter into the million dollar plus rim of business credit in 2024. Right now I've got 1.2 million, 500,000 personal credit, which is just a proxy for the business credit and 750,000 in business credit. And I am going to enter the million dollar mark next year once I do certain things because I know exactly what I have to do to achieve those goals. And you know, it, it's just so, so exciting because there, there's so much that's going on. But once again, for those of you who have questions, that's the number you call. Once again, I'm an adult, you're an adult. You're not gonna be trying to ask me business questions because I'm just gonna ignore you. I'm just sitting there like, I don't know why hardworking people, people out here who are working 40 hours, 160 hours for the man and expect me to do stuff for free. I don't understand that. But once again, I'm going to say this. I'm an adult. You're an adult. And we're going to deal with that because um, there will be some consulting because I had to really think about what I was going to consult on and the things I was going to do with that. I had to really, really think, and it's pretty much, I've got a plan that it's not 100% formulated, but I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm working on it. And we got a lot of stuff that's getting ready to happen. We have a lot of stuff that we're getting ready to do. And it's real interesting. But like I said, once you learn the holding company game, it's going to be... Um, really, really interesting what you will learn, what you will gravitate towards and what will, what you will have happen. And I'm thinking very much that I'm probably going to do this Sunday. I'm probably going to have a webinar talking about the current training because here's the thing. And this is why you want to get in the holding company. You, you want to get in now because each month I'm going to put some more and more stuff out and it's just going to be it's like if you're someone who just finds the YouTube channel and like say December and then you sign up, it's like you're going to be going to school. You're going to feel like you're in college. You're going to feel like you're in college. So this is why you need to go ahead and get in. All right. So I just go on ahead and just let you guys know that holding company stuff, because actually I had a conversation with the banker and we were talking about, um, you know, holding companies and trust. And I say, the reason that this is not in a trust is for me, there's the advantage points of having the people file the taxes because you set up a trust and you have that trust on a business, you will need a CPA. You will need a CPA. I would actually advise you to have an attorney or a CPA to set up your trust and to monitor it because there's going to be so many things that like what I'm teaching you is something that you can do without a CPA and without an attorney. But if you want to go that route and have a trust and there, there's a part in the course where I actually talk about this. So that's all I have. And um, we have a lot more stuff that's going. So go ahead and get in the training. And if you have any questions or stuff, make a phone call and I will see you guys in the next one.